In the end, which came Friday in the Williamson County Justice Center, in which he used to judge others, former DA Ken Anderson will serve just 10 days in jail for his part in the grotesque miscarriage of justice that put Michael Morton in prison for 25 years for a crime he did not commit, the slaying of his wife. Anderson also is losing his law license and has stepped down as a state judge. Serious though those actions are, I left the courtroom Friday feeling unsatisfied about it. But Morton wasn't, and that should be good enough for the rest of us. This is a resolution of all that's taken place, and it's a good day. Um, when it began, when I was asked what I wanted, I said, the only thing that I want as a baseline is for Ken Anderson to be off the bench and for him to no longer practice law. And both of those things have happened and more. The severity or the lack thereof has been done by the legal profession. They set the standards, they meted out punishment, and that's their call. My number one motivating factor here is that what happened to me will not happen to you. And by what happened today, we've succeeded. This is as much accountability as our system is able to give us at this time and because my bottom line or my, my minimum requirements have been met or at least um, realized I can't complain